Welcome back guys today we will be learning about calculus of functions of several variables so as the name suggests today we will be learning about functions which have several, several variables this chapter has very much application in the real, real life world in mathematics and in physics so let's get started so first we will be learning about functions of two or more variables functions of two or more variables so let x comma y be two independent terms independent variables independent variables so if a variable z has the value or takes the value takes value for pair values of pair values of x comma y then we say z is a function of z is a function of variables x comma y x and y so we write it as z is equals to f of x comma y so so for now uh, for this is a function so here z is a dependent term and x and y are the independent variables so example like suppose you have a function like z equals to something say x square plus y or z equals to x square plus x y we can have anything which have two variables so we can also extend this function so like more than two variables like z equals to x1 plus x2 2x2 plus x3 x4 up to anything many functions we can write so we can write this as like x1 x2 x3 x4 something like that so this is how a function looks like of two or more variables so now we will be seeing what is the geometrical interpretation of this function of two variables geometrical interpretation so as we do know that for a single for a case of single functions of single variable we see that the curve represents a we see that the function represents a curve like y is equals to fx something like that y is equals to x plus c or something like that it will be something like a straight line or something like that it it represents a curve in two dimensional plane but here in case of function of two variables that is z equals to f of x comma y we see that the function represents a surface in three dimensional coordinates in three dimensional space so let me show you suppose we have z equals to 3x plus 2y so as we see that this represents a plane where z equals to 2 minus x square minus y square anything like that represents a surface in three dimensional space this represents a th surface in three dimensional space so we know that always a two variable will represent a surface or a plane so let me show you by a coordinate axis so suppose we have our general coordinate axis like this so let me s suppose we have this as x this is y and this is z so for a point suppose x comma y in this plane suppose this is the perpendicular to x this is the perpendicular to y for this function we get a surface in the z which corresponds to that so here it will be x comma y comma z z will give the function of x y we show the position suppose this is o in the figure we see that the position of x comma y on x o y plane represents or gives the corresponding value of z 
so hence p that is suppose this is a point p lies on the surface given by z equals to f comma x comma y so this can be any surface something like this where this point must be interior point so, suppose this is our surface so this will represent a surface corresponding value will give the z value of x comma y so this was the introductory part of the calculus of, of function of separate variable so if you did like my video hit the thumbs up button do share it and subscribe to my channel for more videos thank you